Welcome to Wood Gas Science, where we attempt to learn the science behind wood gas stoves. This is Air Inlet Experiment Part 5. With the improved results of experiment number 4, I decided to increase the amount of primary ports again to increase the floor flow even more. I added 11 more holes to the bottom of the can, which brought the count from 21 quarter inch holes to 33 quarter inch holes. To keep the fuel parameters the same in all of the experiments, I used one measured cup of wood pellets, one tablespoon of wood pellets soaked in heat to aid in starting. As you can see if you watched the uh, test number four video, uh, the burn looks very similar and at around five minutes we had full plumes of flame coming out of all 16 ports, secondary ports that is. Uh, but as you can notice, um, the flame seems to be a little more blue, uh, which is encouraging. Um, we had very strong jets, uh, even though there was a little bit of a breeze going through the garage. The door is open. Um, the blue flame seemed very impressive. By 15 minutes in the burn, all 16 secondary ports were very strong and powerful. Um, some of the blue seems to have disappeared, but there is still noticeable blue flame. Uh, you can see by this close-up that uh, as the air is coming out of the secondary ports, the flame is blue uh, and very nice and constant very nice results. As we've seen from the last four previous videos, uh, the changes in primary air holes in the inner can make a very large difference in fuel consumption and burn time. In the first video, our burn time was over 45 minutes. And uh, now, in our fifth video, our burn time is just a little bit over 30 minutes. As in the other videos, uh, at the end of the burn, I dump out the unburnt pellets to see what we can learn from that. Right from the beginning when I dumped them out, you could tell that most of the pellets were still glowing. They were hot. In summary, the burn time for test 5 was around 30 minutes and 45 seconds. Fuel consumption was greater than a half a cup. Uh, the jets from the secondary ports are very strong. It seems like the primary ports are close to optimal, and uh, we'll start working on the secondary ports in the next video. Thank you for joining me for Woodcast Science, Air Inlet Experiment Number 5. Goodbye.